Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at one of the most useful tools in anyone's toolbox, the screwdriver. But not just any screwdriver, a battery operated cordless screwdriver. You know, sometimes it may be inconvenient to twist the screwdriver manually because you don't have the space to turn the screwdriver or to apply the proper torque you need. That is where a cordless screwdriver can make things easier by doing all the work while your hands remain stationary. So today we'll be looking at the Works WX240 4 volt cordless screwdriver. So let's open this puppy up and see what it can do. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce a new product review video or DIY video. Alright, so let's see what we have here. And you open this puppy up, comes in a plain generic brown box, but on the inside you get a nice looking convenient storage container. And this is not a cardboard case, this is plastic. This is a plastic storage case where you keep it all together in. And when you open this puppy up, you get the instruction manual, which I suggest you read through. And you get all the different bits and stuff in here. You get a USB-C charger, so it charges up faster and more convenient for you. You get the screwdriver itself. You get 26 bits, and you get an extension bit with an extension Phillips head screwdriver. So it's very, very convenient there. Now, like I said, this is the Works WX240 cordless screwdriver. I got this from Banggood, link in description below. And at the time of making this video, this retail for $39.99. And there are some discounts on their website, so you may be able to get it even cheaper than that. Now, the dimensions on this screwdriver is very compact. As you can see by the size of my hand, it is very compact. It's only 7.2 inches long, 1.3 inches wide, and 1.3 inches deep. So it's basically almost a square. It's kind of circular, but it is kind of squared off at the ends as well. It has a design so it doesn't roll away. When you put it down, it'll stay there. I mean, you can roll it if you want to, but you can hear how it has steps to it where it stops. So even if you put it down very quickly, it won't roll away. Very convenient design. A lot of these things are made in a round design and they will roll away if you put it down too quickly while you're working. The weight on this is 0.57 pounds, so only half a pound. The no load RPMs is 250. It has a forward and reverse switch as you can see right there. And I find that very convenient because it's very intuitive. You wanna go forward, you press forward. You wanna go backwards, you press backwards. Some of these other screwdrivers have it where you need to select forward or reverse and then hit the trigger button. And I find that rather inconvenient. I have another screwdriver like that. And at first when I got it, didn't think that it would make that much of a difference. But as you're using it for several months, you find it is rather inconvenient because you're always having to think to yourself, do I have it in forward? Do I have it in reverse? This, you don't need to worry about it. The forward and reverse trigger is the speed and the direction all at the same time. So it's very convenient. You also have a three torque selector down here where you can select the amount of torque that you want to apply. These three lights are also the battery indicator. So when you're charging it up, and the charge port is down here at the bottom, when you're charging it up, these indicate how far up it is fully charged. So minimum would be at the bottom and fully charged would be all the way towards the top. Now on the torque setting, it does have a 30 minute memory. So as long as you're using it every 30 minutes, it will retain whatever the memory is. Here you can see right there. I have it on maximum, it stays on maximum as long as you're using it. After 30 minutes, it resets back down to minimum setting. So you see right there, it stays on maximum. If I put it down to two, it'll stay on two as long as I keep using it. So it's very convenient if you're working on one particular thing and you're gonna be using the same torque all the time and you don't wanna break something, that's very convenient right there. Now the torque setting on this, you have three different speeds like I said. You're looking at 2.5 Newton meters on low, five Newton meters on high, and eight Newton meters on max. It has a 1.5 amp hour battery with overheating protection, so you don't need to worry about being overheated or causing you electrical problems down the road. And it does have two LEDs right on the head to light up your work area, and as you can see, they stay on for a few seconds. Now the holder is magnetic, so when you put anything on it, let's get this one right here, when you put anything on it, it stays right on there, it does not fall out. 
and the extension is also magnetic. So the head and the extension are both magnetic. So they grab the bit whenever you put it on. As you can see, they don't pop off. So that's very convenient right there. And it has a considerable reach. Very convenient. You can grab it in your hand. Nice, comfortable feel. And it does have a nice rubber overmold where you're going to be grabbing it. So normally speaking, you're going to grab it like this. And it does have a nice rubber overmold on the sides and on the bottom. So you can press with your hand and not hurt yourself or not be an unpleasant feeling. So very convenient right there. So that gives you a rundown of what this baby looks like and how it works. Let's see what it can do. Okay guys, so I have a 2x4 strapped in here into my vise and we're going to be drilling it in sideways the long way to see exactly how much this baby can take. And remember, this is a screwdriver. It is not an impact driver. It may not drive it all the way through. All I want to see is how far it will go. And it does have overheating protection. So it will stop once it gets a bit too hot or it's too much stressed out. So don't be surprised if it does stop and it doesn't drive it all the way in. We're testing to see how much it can do. And the beauty of this is that it does lock in place. So you can use it as a regular screwdriver. So when it reaches its limit, if you want to still keep torquing it in, you can do it manually because it'll work just like a regular screwdriver. And in case you couldn't tell very well previously, you can see right there, the dimensions of it are very convenient to hold in your hand and being bigger than a screwdriver, a little bit bigger, not by much, but a little bigger, it gives you a good grip so you can put more torque on it when you're turning a screw. So when you're turning something, it'll give you a good solid grip so you can turn it really far down. So let's see what it can do. Let's start off with a couple of smaller screws. These are like, uh, let's see. This is like a one and five eight screw right there. You can tell not a very big screw. Let's see what it can do. But I'm driving this into wood. The convenience of an electric screwdriver is for assembling furniture, assembling appliances, computers, taking things apart, normal things like that around the house. I'm gonna be stressing it out a bit here. So don't be too surprised as far as what it can or cannot do. So let's, uh, and I did not pre-drill any of these holes. I'm just gonna be putting it into the wood which normally makes it even tougher. So let's see what it can do. Very nice there. Let's try another one. This is like a two inch screw right here. Very nice, bottomed it out very conveniently. Another one and five eighths. Now, how does it take it out? Let's see, I already buried it all the way down. You see they're flush, you can't see the head. Let's take it out. No trouble at all. No trouble at all. Let's try another two inch right there. And that buried it very nicely. Let's try a three inch and see what it can do. And this is pretty tough to do, so. See, it right there it shuts off because it's at its maximum torque, so that's not bad. You can keep pushing it further. That, that's pretty much at its maximum torque. Now let me show you how you can use it like a regular screwdriver. I'm not going to go all the way in, but you get the point. You can use it like a regular screwdriver and it just keeps twisting in. And you see I'm using both hands because it is pretty large amount of torque that you need to get a three inch all the way into the wood right there. But a normal screw, very, very well done. For normal things like that, it does a very good job. All right, so let's take out all the screws that I just put in and see how it does in the reverse. So it pretty much buried the three incher almost halfway, which is pretty darn good. Three inches halfway, that's one and a half inches all the way in. No trouble at all.
there you go. No trouble at all. It took out all the screws that I put in. So here we have a comparison of the three different screwdrivers that I currently have. Here's an old Black & Decker that I've had for many, many years, and it's 4 volts, same as that one, but you see it is a much bigger, bulkier design. The works is much smaller and more compact, easier to get into tight areas. So this is very good right here. The works is also, like I said, squared off so it doesn't roll where the Black & Decker is rounded. So if you put it down the wrong way or on a slant or something, it could roll away from you as you're trying to work. The other one over here is a trigger design, where the trigger design makes it inconvenient to get into certain areas. You have to have the room to be able to fit it in, whether sideways or up and down. This one can go straight in to wherever you want it. You can see that the works is also slimmer and smaller than this one, even though they both have the same power. So the works is a very convenient design. Okay guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of the Works WR244 volt cordless screwdriver. I think this is a very convenient and compact screwdriver. Great for doing things around the house, assembling and disassembling furniture, appliances, toys for the kids, whatever you need to do. Helps you get into really tight and hard to reach places. Check it out on Banggood and see if it's something you may like to have. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.